This Wednesday, the Amazing Race kicks off its 36th race around the world with 13 new teams competing for the million dollar grand prize. And host Phil Kogan has your inside look. The number one thing that I hear from all teams at the end of that first leg is we had no idea how hard it was. Good luck. Travel safe. Go! We're starting in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Only the second time ever that we've started outside the United States. This season, there are two new countries. Barbados and the Dominican Republic. What the teams don't know is that for the first time ever in Amazing Race history, they will be starting this race with a mega lick. You're very welcome. This is my mom, my hero, someone who has meant a lot to me growing up. And to be his partner on The Amazing Race, that is a mom's dream. The thing about Double Dutch is we have a system where we teach everyone in less than a minute. Including you, Phil. Yeah. Did you have to say that? <laughs> my mother was a very adventurous, out there spirit. I know she's with us. I know she's going to be laughing with she's us along the way, she's cheering be... us on. Yeah. I think The Amazing Race is like the perfect opportunity to really get to know each other. And, and then we might be ready for the next time. I am a former NFL player. In pressure situations, that's why I'm at my best. So I've been a fighter my whole life, so I'm not quitting and neither is he. Shane and I met at pilot training. It's the hardest, best year of your life. Shane's definitely the kind of guy that'll pick you up when you need to be picked up, and he'll give you a push when you need that, too. We met at the Fire Academy. We fought fires together. We've saved lives together. I really think we could get through anything together. Bringing Vincent home to Mississippi to meet my family was very different. I really want to commit to this race and be the best partner I can be. We met through a meetup group called Girls, girls Who Like Girls, girls who, who Like to hike. to hike. She just likes to call me extra, but we're just <laughs> extra competitive. We have a tighter relationship than a lot of people. We feel like we're joining something way bigger than the race itself. On the Amazing Race, you have no idea how to predict who's going to do well because they're all unknowns. It's a race of surprises. I'm so excited for this season, I'm and that preview excited. gets me excited. Mm -hmm. We have a few picks. Before we get into that, a few quick things I want to say. Um, first of all, I love that they're starting in Mexico. I think that's exciting as opposed yeah. to starting in the U.S. Also, um, this season they're mostly focusing on like Central America, the Caribbean, and then South America, which I think is also exciting that because exciting. the last few seasons they've been in Europe mm -hmm. heavily, which is great, but it's just nice to see a yeah. change of scenery. For I can sure. really appreciate that. What's also interesting is that this season actually filmed before season 35. Oh, is this the season? I yes. didn't know that. Yes, and so these people have waited a, quite a while for their yeah. season to air. So I think it's okay. really exciting this is finally coming to fruition. And also, fun fact, Phil mentions um, that they're traveling to Barbados for the first time. Mm -hmm. And I heard or read in an article, I'm sorry, that um, they're actually traveling to Rihanna's childhood home in one of the legs that they're doing. That's so which cool. I think it's really I cool. I think it would be so awesome if she just randomly popped up. Right. She just shows up. She's <laughs> like, hey, Phil. Right. I think that'd be awesome. All right. So we're going to list off just a few of the teams that we're kind of looking at for this season. So first up is Rod and Letitia. So um, he is the one who's a football player. He actually briefly p played for the Chiefs before um, ending his career, which is really exciting. I think they've only been married a little bit. Um, and like she said, she's a fighter. So I could see them being a highly competitive couple. What I hope doesn't happen is that they become one of those married couples where they just bicker, bicker. the whole time. Mm. I hope their competitiveness like works to their advantage rather than their yeah. disadvantage. That's true. Yeah. I think they'll be good. Yeah, they I seem really strong, I too. and it, it seems like they know how to work well just based off yeah. the package, so I'm excited for that. Next up is Amber and Vinny, so they are dating. Um, it seemed like Amber was kind of saying that her family is unsure about Vinny, so I'm kind of hoping for their sake that maybe doing the race together kind of gets Vinny more approval with the parents, with the f future in-laws. <laughs> um, but they seem like a really just like fun team, mm -hmm. and she's that really strong Southern accent, so I think it'll be fun to watch her right. on the show in general. Uh, my last pick is Michelle and Sean. So in the package, they were the ones that teach double Dutch. I picked them because they just seem like a lot of fun. Yeah. I'm always about the teams that are just going to bring the excitement, bring the adventure, and enjoy racing around the world on the I mean, show, and I feel like that's going to be If you them. teach double Dutch, you've got to You've got to have a good personality. <laughs> exactly. So I think I think they're going to do really great. Who are your picks? Okay, so for my first one, I have Sunny and Busy. Okay. They are best friends, and uh, in the package, they showed that they're firefighters. Yeah, which is so I just cool. think they look super strong. Yeah. And I think that they probably have that really unique bond that yeah. they're going to like know how to work with each other. Mm, that's you a good know, point. Instead yeah. of like bickering. Yeah. So then next up, I have Juan and Shane. Uh, they're also uh, best friends, if I remember correctly. Yes. They are pilots. And I, I don't know. I just like their vibe. Yeah. From that and that, hey, that may come in as an advantage at some point. You know, sometimes you see right. them in planes or That's jumping true. out of well, things or whatever. In the package, so. they're, I look like, Parasailing, not yeah. parasailing, but they were doing something in something the air. Something in the air. Something yeah. I wouldn't want to do. So maybe that'll come to their strength. Right. Yeah. And then next, I have married couple Derek and Shalissa. Mm -hmm. 
And, you know, I just really liked Shalissa's name, in all honesty. Yeah. <laughs> I had a hard time picking who I would want. Yeah, they season, seem really so. solid, too, though. It's just so interesting because with, with The Amazing Race, the thing I love is really no one has the upper hand. Mm -hmm. At least that's my opinion. Yeah. Because these challenges are designed to test you in so yeah. many well, different ways. And they're always so random what you're so going to come random. up with. Yeah. Carrying a cheese wheel up a hill or... Some, you know, yeah. anything. Well, and we've seen in years past, like, you know, in tomorrow's premiere, there might be a team that's, like, heavily in the lead, and they keep the lead for maybe two episodes, but mm -hmm. they might be out episode three right? because just there's this one I mean, that gets I mean, last them. season, our team that was in the lead was yeah. in the lead for the first half of the season, and then yeah. they kind of fell off and got eliminated. Yeah, quick. something else that was interesting is Phil mentions in the package that the first leg of the season is going to be a mega leg, which they've never done before. So that's interesting to me too, hmm. because I'm like, first of all, my first question is, will we actually see someone go home in the premiere? I mean, I guess that helps the person last longer the first two Yeah, I guess out. so, but I'm also like, that's twice the amount of work on the very first leg of the show. So that's I mean, true. that really could make a huge difference too, as far as kind yeah. of how the season plays Where out. Where you out faster. Yeah, at the beginning. exactly. Yeah. So I think it's gonna be really good. Um, I don't know. I'm just really excited. So The Amazing Grace Season 36 tomorrow. Watch for your favorite team, and we'll have more next week.